The black and white effect is very simple and depends on the conversion to grayscale. Having this value, we create a condition in order to determine if the color of the pixel is converted to black or white. As you can see, we could use an if-else structure, but in this case, to simplify the code, we're going to use the step function. It takes two parameters, the value of the h and the x value. This is the output function that, that jumps between 0 and 1, depending on whether the value of the h is crossed. This is the x value and the h. So we define the step function. In our case, we set the h as 0 0.5. So now we create a new shader. We set the shader type to canvas item. We create our fragment function. Uh, we obtain the color of the texture from the viewport. Then we get the black and white values. This can be zero, 0 or 1 from the step function, as we mentioned it before. Then inside, we get the grayscale value by getting the average of the RGB channels. We just get the output color by creating a new vector with the variable on the three channels. Now let's have a look at the inverse color. Here is the vector starting from the origin to the end 111, which is the white color. To obtain the inverse or negative value of a color, we subtract the color, represented by B, of the pixel from the white color. This way we get the negative color, which we can see is completely different from the original. If we move to the origin, we can see the difference with B. So, let's first save the previous black and white shader. We go to the viewport container and add a new shader. We set the shader type to canvas item. And let's create our fragment function. We obtain the color of the texture from the viewport. And we set the output color to the subtraction of the white color minus the current color. This way we have the inverse or negative color. This last effect is optional because actually data detection is done with a different algorithm, but it's useful to give you an idea. What we are going to do is that in each pixel we will obtain the value of the pixel to the right and the pixel below. We're going to compare if the distance between the color vectors is greater than a certain value and then we will assign the black color or the white color.
Let's go to the viewport container and save the preview shader. Now we create a new shader. We set the shader type to canvas item. We're gonna use a uniform variable distance. We add our fragment function. Inside, we declare a vector variable to store the current color. from the viewport texture. Now we're gonna store the color that is to the right to the pixel using the same texture function, but we're gonna add a vector to the UV variable. So we move the position to the right. We do the same with the bottom pixel. Again, we need to add a big two variable to the UV. This time, we move one pixel down. Then we declare two variables to obtain the difference between the color vectors. And now we set the condition to determine if the output is white or black. As we can see, some lines are being defined. It's not very different from, from the black and white shader. There are just some subtle difference. Later, we will see how to do it the right way using a convolution matrix.